Okay. Yep. There's this website in Ukraine called Miratoritz. Uh, its header says information for law enforcement authorities and special services about pro-Russian terrorists, separatists, mercenaries, war criminals, and murderers. That website has just published personal data of around 4,000 journalists who are working or worked in eastern Ukraine. Their phone numbers and email addresses. These are journalists uh, from all over the world, not only from Russia. Mm -hmm. but, but last year, shortly after the website did a similar thing with publishing personal data, a Ukrainian journalist, Alias Buzina, uh, who had expressed pro-Russian views, was murdered. Uh, wh what do you think about this leak of journalists' personal data? Okay. Um, we're aware of the reports of the hacking of personal information of some reporters who had worked or are working in parts of eastern Ukraine. You know, these are international outlets, some of which are represented in this room. The United States fully supports the fundamental principle of press freedom. Journalists play a critical role, particularly in countries where civil and political rights are fragile and in areas of conflict where the hazards of reporting are at their most extreme. Would you so we are a hacking? You called it a hacking. Would you we call did call that it hacking, a hacking. A criminal, maybe? Uh, I'm not going to make a criminal determination, but I, we did call it a hacking and we are concerned. And it is wrong for them to do that. We are very concerned about the hacking and the posting of personal information of members of the press who are already on the front lines. Yep. Uh,